Oh, hey! It's Carolyn with the Platinum Thimble, and today we are going to go over to my friend Tamara's house and see the quilts that she has made for her family. Her husband, Doug, was a farmer, and he passed away about a year ago, and she took his shirts and she worked them into quilts for her family, and she invited us to come and take a look. Tamara is a historian. She is a teacher and um, she has done a lot of interviewing of veterans and a lot of research um, up in our in our little valley here and um, she's just an amazing person so I wanted to just take a look at everything and kind of hear the story of what she was doing so I hope you enjoy our little visit with Tamara today. When did you discover that you liked to quilt? I've always been a seamstress my whole life, and so I love to. You did garment sewing, making things for yes, your family. Yes, and, and my mother, um, she could do a quilt in a day, tie it, you know. And so I kept her busy because I'm the only daughter. I have five brothers, <laughs> and so I kept her busy quilting, which meant I was really busy binding and putting them together. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and I always loved it. And so, as the only daughter with five brothers. It kind of felt to me because I she was from that generation where you quilted for trousseaux and right and everything. Everybody in the family and that I got have, married, you yeah. got you made them a quilt. And I've been really a, a spoiled rotten kid because I don't have store bought quilts or blankies. Everything has to be because you know yes. once you get into that, that's all you ever it's have. It's true. So. It's true. Yeah, well, so. and then your family, everybody says, "Well, where's okay. mine?" Well, and they think that I can just whip these up in like two seconds, <laughs> mainly because I do nothing else but quilt. <laughs> but you hand quilt all your quilts. Yes, they're all hand. See, I cheat. I take them to yeah. somebody else and have them. No, that was <laughs> I looked into it because when this happened, I have quilted for about three months because I just couldn't do it anymore. I, the, my last three quilts, I literally quilted with pliers. Oh my goodness! So wow. But I just couldn't do it anymore, and so mm -hmm. I, uh, that was another reason why I had to look into it yeah. a little more seriously. Yes. Anyway, yeah. I love to quilt, and I don't know, I always have a quilt on 24-7. I'm always piecing, mm -hmm. and I always have my fabric swatches, and I'm always shopping. <laughs> so, <laughs> what more could I Yay. ask for? And there's always one in your brain, too. Oh, yes. The, the, well, I'm looking I'm at the books. I'm I'm normal. I love the books. The books are just like, I would rather look at a, a quilt book than, you know, a, oh, yeah. a clothing magazine. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Absolutely. You know. Well, don't get on Pinterest is what I'm telling you. Oh, and I haven't done that. Yeah, don't. <laughs> You'll be but, in trouble. But I made a quilt of Grandpa's shirts for every one of my children and every one of my grandchildren. Wow. He had exactly that many shirts. <laughs> So I used them all. That mm -hmm. is perfect. So, what a treasure. That is such a treasure. Yeah, and I have loved doing them on. Some of them match and some of them don't match so good, but... They're scrappy. Yeah. yeah they're That's the beauty of yes. it. Those, that is just so striking. Well, it doesn't Let's open have, it up, shall it we? It doesn't have the white that they usually have, but it has... Look, though, this is... This is what I love, the little fussy cut tractor right in the center. That is perfect. And you use yeah. the awesome poly batting. Yes. Old school, yes. like we say. Yeah, yeah well, oh, you know, it's Tara. about what you have to do. <gasps> but this one. This one may walk out today. <laughs> it, just, it might just disappear. Oh, look. It just reminds me a lot of my husband. Can you tell the one that's his shirt? Let me look. Money, money. Would it be that? Yep. He wore that on the cruise. That's how yeah. I remember. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I would yes. have never put orange and blue together. But that the shirt had it, so and so I just put, and this one has two squares except the one in the middle. So they start and end. And I thought, I love putting it together like that because the, the cows face each other. Yes. You know, I did half and then I just reversed it and went out of it. Uh. I love it. So I have to look at the binding. Is that okay? Oh, <laughs> because I love to see. So you do you sew to the front and then stitch to the back? Uh, 
No, I do my finish stitching on the front. Thank you. That's how my grandma I, taught me. I, well, that's the part that people see when they look at your quilt. See, and piece. everybody these days soles to the front and turns to the back. So um, being the lemming that I am, I started doing it that way. I am oh, so no, glad. Good. I feel so validated. I'm, this is the side I want to look good. <laughs> that's the top side, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Now I know. Now about this one. This only shows one, but these are my son's work shirts. <gasps> they are? Yes. Oh. His work uniforms. How awesome but there's, is that? It's scattered throughout here. Now that I want, to, want you to see, I can't find them. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, that is. And so I thought that was How can you cool get that away, Tamara? Because <laughs> I know they're going to be loved. They huh? will be loved. This one was my first one, and that one was a learning experience. I love and so the don't colors. look at it too close. Hey, listen, it's... this is my new rule. Whenever anybody talks quilts, if they start saying it's great, except for this glaring yeah. flaw don't, right don't here, don't look at it <laughs> too closely. From a distance, it looks cute. <laughs> and this is the shirt, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I love that color combination. It's well, very I, striking. When I this. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I needed really a shade lighter blue, but I love this gray and this blue together. Yes. And actually, I tried sewing one with sashing that was just one long stripe or one long Yeah. And it turned out that my quilt was ski wampus. I have to have these little measures. Mm -hmm. Me to too. Periodically. Me too, so I can ease. Yes, yes. Stretch yes. it in there. Exactly. I love that. Oh, my God. So. Now, of all the quilts I ever do, I love the samplers the best. Yeah. And can you see the, the shirt in that Is one? It this? Yes. Mm -hmm. I know my farmer shirts. <laughs> Where I'm is it? married to a farmer. <laughs> Debbie has nothing, had nothing but plaid shirts. Yeah. And I learned that I never will buy plaid ever because you have to straighten every single. <laughs> and you have to, you can't really use layers of you know, what are the rotary cutters? Right, because you have you to fussy have cut every single one. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. But oh my goodness. That is so fun. This is one of the first ones that I did. It's just kind of miscellaneous. Oh, one other thing though that I did that I really liked is just see these two inch squares. Uh -huh. It just makes your quilts big enough that they're quilts instead of Wall hangs, yeah, or <laughs> lap through. Yeah. And you always have all those 50 bazillion pieces. Yes. And I even used them so for nice. these. Which was. See, this is, oh, I love the scrappiness. Look at that strawberry. How just, that just needs its very own place in. I like that pattern too. The churn okay, dash. What I did different on this one was, this is supposed to be. I flip flopped these. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I wanted this, I wanted them to stand out. Well, and because I was getting tired of everything being white. Right. And so, I like that you did that because that really emphasizes the block. Well, the if you look, the blue. I couldn't match that blue. Blues are really hard to match. That's the beauty of quilts. Nothing has to match. Yeah. Well, it just has to coordinate. Yeah. It just has well, to be in the family. This one was in the family. So. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of that thing called Stitch in the Ditch? Yes. Well, we call it, we, I call it Stitch in the Neighborhood. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. It's hard to you get know. it in the ditch. I actually am pretty good at that uh, machine yeah. binding, and I can do it. And my quilts are, look, I stitch in the ditch some miraculous way. Wow. But Barbara told me that I couldn't have these hand quilted quilts and machine Bind them. So there are rules. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that that was rules. Some of the quilting police, like Barbara and Donna, yeah. they're going to. Okay, now should I tell you what I like the best about this? Yes, one? I love this. I like the fact that it looks like there's a square here mm -hmm. and a square here. The secondary it pattern. was an accident, but I just thought it was kind How of. How lucky is that? Yeah, it turned out really cool. That is really cool. So. And this one, who would have guessed that I could make a pink quilt out of, you know, or a purple quilt out of Doug's shirts? Yeah. But this was one of my personal favorites of his shirts. Yes, I love that. his eyes were that color blue. And... Oh my gosh, yes, this is fantastic. Wow, what a labor of love. 
And yeah, now what do you think? That what, was what? Doug's Hawaii shirt, right? Yes, but guess what else? What else? When you were there, were there wild chickens everywhere? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, that's I right. wasn't looking at the chicken, that's I was looking at the fabric. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> If they look at him, I got some um, some kind of cute stories. Every time they saw Grandpa, he would give them a dollar. So I had to put the dollar the in. The dollar. Oh, that's so cute. And John Deere, of course. Yes. The world wouldn't turn without John Deere. My grandson showed pigs at the fair. I tried to make them. Green beans is our favorite vegetable for Sunday dinner. <laughs> Yeah, they are all very personal, aren't they? Yeah, I tried to, you know, make it a connection. And this is Doug's shirt with Doug's, so there's, and then this is my son's shirt again. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Scotty. And That's awesome. These were kind of a pinch to make. Oh, and then notice my. I love that. The barbed wire fence holding all the animals in. That's cute. Wow. Anyway. So what do you do in your spare time? <laughs> <laughs> this is my, uh, if you notice I have a lot of spare time. <laughs> oh, it's so great. It's to, cheaper than a pill. Yeah. And better for me. Absolutely. And leave a legacy for your family like that. Yeah. That's what quilting is to me, is leaving a legacy. Well. I'm excited about it. I'm glad to get rid of these. I can't wait to do all my work on my others. Fill it all up again. Yep, fill it up again. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for letting us come over and see. I'm oh, just so thrilled. It's Please so inspiring. Edit your tape. We love yeah. it.